I feel bad for the people who were infected by this cruel virus. So yeah. Hi guys, I'm Betty. TV coming. <laughs> so today, wait. So yeah, today we're gonna explain what is polio virus. We're here to explain what it does. So it's an enterovirus that invades your intestines. It will first anyone it's transferred by infected water or food came from a person who's infected with. Uh, what's that again? Polio virus, yeah. And if you're living with the same house, you get polio virus. And also, fecal matter is also polio virus. So we're gonna explain what it actually does because in the Philippines, there is paralyzed people, and yeah. And I hope that doesn't it eradicates. I thought it was already eradicated in 2017. Uh, but no, also in it nineteen something. So basically, it's a enterovirus that enters your intestine first. It is spread by an infected person coughing, drinking infected food or water, or you all know already someone's fecal matter. Eh, that's disgusting trying to keep it family friendly so yeah so the next thing is it will first first it, let me draw a d badly drawn intestine cell which is just a big round square with the nocellus in it so first there once the virus finds the right in receptor of this intestine cell it begins so once it's inside no it so the polio virus is you know the RNA is secured in a capsid or a protein shell so the shell is made out of protein do you see this little tiny microbe this guy is infecting its microbes in so it uses its sting so basically all of this is gone so yeah, it uses the RNA to make copies of its rising and then it's using a ribosome. This is not right. So it uses a ribosome. So this ribosome makes the protein for the cell. Right, do you see this? And this ribosome, instead of making proteins, it will insert the this the the components and it will make new fresh rna and inside this all of these are yeah so that's the typical virus crap so then the those newly formed rna and the other proteins will make new new What's the the polio virus? Yay! No, just kidding. S then it will sickle the cell, or other in other terms, kill it, and it would make it just yeah, it's dead already. And some of them, this some of this is actually a epithelial cell, so some of them will actually stay out to hang here. To go to the oh, what is this? Some of them will actually go stay here until you poop it all out, and some will go to the bloodstream. Ah, so it will go to the bloodstream, and it will infect other things, other organs. So let me clean this up. So it will infect other organs, and once it infects all or. It will infect other organs, but do you know the types of nerves? Sen but we're talking about only one nerve today. So this is a motor nerve. This controls all your function, like what I'm doing right now. Stop. So basically like this, 
For example, I move my arm and I want to draw my a circle. See? My motor nerves are controlling this basically to draw, make me draw a circle. So basically, also if I erase, something in my brain tells me to erase it. Gone. So yeah, like that. And then also, if it passes the blood barrier to the brain, let's draw a big, big circle. <laughs> what is this? So the brain, the central nerve system, this is the central nerve system. The parts of the central nerve system are uh, the the brain so as you can see oh my god you cannot see so brain and the spinal cord so here so brain and spinal cord sir that's the central nerve brain central nervous system and the the what's that called again the flam inflammatory nerves is what's fanning up the nerves fanning out of the brain the spinal cord something like that like this the, all of these nerves that's fanning out of the spinal cord is the fan system or whatever i just said it's not true so this is the central nervous system brain and the spinal cord itself but these n nerves are i don't know so yeah like that so basically sometimes the, you know that there is blood to the brain right okay so sometimes these little polio viruses infect the brain their blood barrier of the brain wait so infects the blood barrier of the brain and also once it infects the blood barrier of the brain you can you can see a close up here once it infects the blood barrier it will it will cause some damage here so basically it will leave you paralyzed also this wait so yeah there are gray matter and white matter right the, you already know that so this for example this is your smart brain your typical brain <laughs> oval here i will just draw some something here to make it look like an actual brain so do you see this here here oh no I, I cannot position it do you see this here forgive me for my crappy handwriting so the gray matter is outside this is the gray matter so I cannot draw that well So here's the gray matter here this is the gray matter and this is the white matter in the inside but the spinal cord is totally the opposite so it kind of looks like a butterfly this is crap drawn wow so yeah it it, it kind of looks like a butterfly so if we draw a line right there oh no not this line at the very center so do you see the center line this is the ventricle cent this is the ventricle side ventricle side and this is the yeah so that's something like that and there these 
horn things. The butterfly wings are sometimes called horns. So there are ventricle horns here, ventricle horns, and I don't know what are these. So yeah, the I only know basic things about polio, so expect me to get more errors. So something like that. So once the polio virus. So mainly the polio virus wants these. That. It's tasty for them. They want to eat it. So particularly they infect motor ce motor cells, but they're what they're going retro style and they will travel upwards to the axon. So you will see what I mean. So first of all, let me get this light beam out of the way. So if you see this, this scene is here, right? So as you can see, do you see this? This is a nerve cell. I don't need to spend time drawing whatever. This is, let me draw some hair to make it beautiful. And see the, as you can see, this crappy drawing representation. And this one is connected to a muscle. That's not the muscle that I meant. So as you can see, do you see this muscle? The polio virus wants to infect this. So once this guy is dead, there are other healthy ones will just like stay here and support the this muscle so that it will still stay alive. But aging is the problem because aging during aging neurons die. So there's another one dead in there. Speeding up the process, it will just totally immobilize the muscle. If all of the neurons that is connected to the muscle, no, what have I drawn? If all of the neurons that has been connected to the muscle die, then it this part, this muscle, let's say this is the leg muscle, you cannot move this anymore. You cannot move it like this anymore. Just like what I'm doing to my leg, you cannot move it anymore. So, like something like that. So, this, uh, the dying of neurons and presence of the polio virus everywhere can also trigger macrophages. I said that wrong. Macrophages. The our, our first defense cell that will particularly find these these threats to the body and neutrophils neutrophils that will come into the site to kill these polioviruses they will eat it so after a while now of the battle it will actually you have a low chance of surviving but yeah so as you say what are the what happens to the neurons or the polio virus or anything so yeah basically what happened let's draw the crappy spinal cord this time i'll try to draw a better butterfly and not mess okay i just messed it up so it will inflame the spinal cord it will inflame it so and this is what causes the let's draw a tiny brain here it causes the brain to lose control of the body so yeah something like that will happen to you something like that Plus, this, this uh, spinal cord 
will inflame so big your brain won't even yeah so yeah this big big spinal cord mess yeah something like that so the doctors will also test your spine they will they will take the cryo fluid or as we call it spinal fluid from your spinal cord and they will see what's inside it so either the in because they will use a injection to to see what's inside your cryo fluid or your spinal fluid it could be either a uh, increase of macrophages or more strands of poliovirus R RNA so as you can see they will either find macrophages more macrophages in your fluid and more whatever that is from your Carefully. Oh yeah, this is strands of RNA. The words just got me confused. So strands of polio RNA on your cryofluid. So yeah, something like that. Also, they will just take it from your spinal cord like that. So yeah, to prev we it's still important even if it's eradicated. It's still important to know what is a polio virus. So, do you know now what's a polio virus? If anyone's watching from the Philippines and is got infected, so yeah, be careful if you have polio. God, God, may God bless all the souls that has been infected by polio. So yeah, if you're infected by polio in the Philippines and you're watching this, safe to say. You get a free drop. Do you know these drops? And ignore that this drawing. So I either you can get a free injection. No, not free. This is expensive. It's expensive for injection. So yeah. Also, you can get a free drop in the campaigns. I don't need to draw this good, so I just did that. So you can get free drop from the campaign. This is this is the OPV and this is NPV. So yeah, like that. But this just puts the very RNA weakened versions of RNA of this poliovirus. We don't need the board anymore. So I'll just put it up. So it will it will inject weaker versions of RNA and the oral will also do that to activate your body to create a well defense to activate your memory cells too. So that when the polio virus infects you they will be ready to fight it back. But Sometimes the weak virus can mutate if it has enough time and it will just Instead of the medicine becoming very effective. It will just become worse here your Problem will just become worse if it mutates so never let it mutate or you will just particularly have a even more worse virus virus infection so never let it mutate the weak one so yeah guys i hope you understand i feel bad for the people who were infected by this cruel virus so yeah see you next time guys hope like enjoyed this video so please like subscribe hit the bell do not miss my awesome videos or these educational videos See you next time, guys. Keep track of my next video. I don't know when will come. Goodbye.